welcome to Kugjo Sound. This is Bjorn Jacobson speaking, and this is a video series about how to do AAA sized projects in WISE. Hi, and welcome to Kugjo Sound. This is my WISE AAA project series. And what I'm trying to do is to simply create a WISE project that has the sheer size and scale of an actual AAA project, how it's structured, what to do, certain work methods that we can take along with us. Of course, every WISE project is different. So this might not be the way that it's done in specific places, but it is definitely the way forward. And the basic structure is definitely the way that a lot of, lot of projects would do it. Today, in this video, we're gonna be discussing debugging. Debugging is quite simple in WISE actually, because you have your profiler and so on. But what if you want cross engine and WISE debugging? In many cases, you have probably wondered how easy it is in WISE to create an attenuation curve, um, to set up something uh, with a switch or an RTPC. Your main problem is that you don't know exactly how far away something is. Like you're, you're checking out, let's say a gunshot, you're firing your weapon and it hits some tree over there and you can hear it. Then sometimes you would have to sit and adjust the curve for far too long to check how does it sound when it's 100 meters away. What is 100 meters? What does it actually look like in the game and so on? And there's a very, very smart way of debugging distance like that. We have our RTPC distance already built in into WISE, which we've created before. I've gone ahead and changed the number a little so, so that it, it, it's a little easier to work with because previously we had set it to 100,000, which of course isn't useful in this case. But also if you're working in Unreal, suddenly you're working in centimeters, these numbers can get quite tedious. What I've done is that I've set it to 200 because let's say that we want to simulate that the max distance something can be away is 200. I've gone ahead and in my trusty wave lab recorded myself saying numbers like 1, 2, 3, 15, 20, 25, 30, 50, 60, 70, and so on. What I'm going to do is that I have created a work unit that I will be calling debug. I've made a debug distance blend. I'll show you why we're doing this with a distance blend and not as a switch. Because if you have a debug switch, let's say we have one here, and we have all these this da, 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 added here. There's only a set number of switches that you can have in a hierarchy like this. First of all, the curve gets really annoying to control, but also suddenly numbers like seven pops up in the middle of 75 and so on. So that's why we're doing it with a blend container. What I've done is that I've taken the blend container and I've added all my files. And all these files are just simply me saying the number. One. And so on. If you look at here, I've made this distance blend and I've made a blend track. I've added all these files to it da, 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 so that it goes to 200. Under blend tracks, I've created a blend track. This was a little tedious to set up because it gets a little numerical and you have to type it in manually. But once it's done, you can test this and use it for a lot of things in your engine. Imagine I'm firing my weapon and I know that the sound that I'm getting back from hitting some tree sounds really cool. I can then open up my, let's say if this sound here was what we wanted to edit, and then I can take a look at my positioning. Let's just see here. And maybe this was our attenuation curve. Like if you've worked on a project before, you have probably noticed that sometimes it would be really, really nice to know how far away is something actually. The weird thing is that you can, of course, in your editor, have some sort of distance measuring, but sometimes it would be really nice if you can play around in the game and then fire your gun or throw axes or whatever you want to do, and then actually know, oh, this sound was 50 meters away. That means that the next time I go in and edit this, I know that, oh, this is right here, and then I can test it by pressing play and debug my filter here and make sure that it sounds just spiffy. Now, what we've done is that we created our debug distance blend here. And in the blend track, as you saw before, we've created all these. This is our distance RTPC. So every time you fire this, if we over under events, just say play test distance, we make an event called test play distance. We have it play our debug container here. Like that, and we assign this so every time one, one. Let's see, I'm firing my gun. One impact sound that comes back is one, 
Right. Like also, if you want to test delays of stuff and so on, you can much easier debug it with this. So let's say that distance is now 150. 150. 100. And so on. And it's a very, very nice way of debugging numbers and distances in Wise so that you can know exactly how far away is something and it will ease up your mixing process tremendously if you are trying to figure out how should something sound over a certain distance. It's just a pro tip. Use it if you like. Thank you for watching this Kuto Sound video on how to do AAA size projects in Wise. If you like this video, why not hit the thumbs up or maybe even subscribe to the channel. If you want to support the channel and all the time that I take off to create all this content, consider heading over to patreon.com forward slash kujosound, where you for as little as $1 a month can help me sustain this channel. I would really, really appreciate it. Hopefully I'll see you again in another video or check out some of the other videos on the channel. It's a lot of game audio stuff. Once again, thanks for watching. See you next time.